Hi, I'm John from PGP Wedding Films, and welcome to Say Yes to the Best, where we talk to the best wedding vendors to help you with your wedding planning. Today I have Colleen from The Handkerchief Shop. How are you doing? Good, thanks for having me. Thank you. How long have you been doing uh, what you're doing? Um, so it was a side hustle for like five or six years, um, and but I've been doing it in total like 10 or 11. So I went all in kind of like four or five years ago. So what is the busiest time for you? Uh, when do most people come and, and get custom handkerchiefs? So um, handkerchiefs are one of those things that's kind of um, a, more of a last minute item, a last minute accessory that people are adding on, I guess, when they're um, when they're thinking about gifts to get their, um, you know, their mother and father or important people that are involved in their wedding day, usually that's the time that they start thinking about uh, handkerchiefs. And so um, I am usually busy at the same time as wedding seasons are. So, you know, spring, fall, um, and then holiday is actually really big for the handkerchief shop as well because of men's monogrammed handkerchiefs. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. So I believe you had some tips for our brides and grooms watching this about what they should think about if they think a handkerchief would be something they want to add for their wedding. Sure. Well, um, a handkerchief is really such a nice personalized gift. It's practical, um, so you can use it to dry happy tears. And um, it's also an item where um, if you embroider it with like a little message or the wedding date, it's something that can be tucked away as like a nice little keepsake in a treasure box to remember the day uh, later on. So um, I have a lot of times customers will um, kind of worry that the message that they're putting on there, is it special enough? Is it long enough? Is it, um, you know, uh, well, what should I put on there? And um, I guess my tip is to not overthink it. It doesn't matter how long it is. Sometimes the shortest message has the most impact. For example, I just saw a handkerchief um, not that long ago, someone embroidered it. It said, um, I choose you. I mean, you know, when you open that up, like that has so much impact. It didn't have to be long. Um, so I would say don't overthink the length of the message. And, um, you know, just think of the person that you're going to give the handkerchief to. Sometimes the, gr the groomsman or the best man will give a handkerchief to the groom. Uh, and in that case, I've seen inside jokes. I've seen, um, you know, a, a lyric from a song. And that's something that they're going to make the groom probably laugh on a day that's, you know, really serious and his nerves might be, you know, a little kind of going crazy. Um, so, you know, in that instance, the, his bridal party is trying to make him laugh and, um, you know, kind of break up the muta like a little bit, it'll hit the nerves. Um, but, you know, for the bride giving it to the groom, maybe it's like something that's just like a little, something that they share, maybe again, like an inside joke, or, um, you know, sometimes couples have like cutesy names for each other, maybe it's something like that, and Bruder's small in the corner. Uh, so yeah, my, my, my tip is just not to overthink it and make it really personal for that person that you're giving it to. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Even when you were talking about that, I was thinking I was in a wedding for one of my best friends and he got us all flasks because that was more of his thing. Yeah. But it had like a personalized message that yeah. was an inside joke and it got me to laugh. Laughs, and it was like, right? I was like, that was pretty funny. I, yeah. I forgot about this. And, and it's and, something that you'll keep mm -hmm. and, and treasure later on and look at it and remember the day and, and laugh too. So. Awesome. Yeah. What inspired you to start making custom handkerchiefs? Right. So handkerchiefs, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've always loved handkerchiefs. Um, I actually received my first one when I was uh, in second grade. Um, and since then, I've collected vintage handkerchiefs. I've always had a love of fabric and of laces and like pretty little dainty details. Um, so I think that kind of gave way to my love of handkerchiefs as well. But what made me start um, the handkerchief shop was uh, when my husband and I were getting married, I was actually looking for some pretty handkerchiefs to embroider to give my bridal party, my mom, my mother-in-law, grandmoms, um, and I really couldn't find any. So I really thought there was an opportunity there to create something that was practical um, and useful, but also um, something that could be tucked away as like that little treasured item um, for a later time with the embroidery. Um, so I designed Happy Hanky first, and that was the line of happy tear handkerchiefs for women. Um, and then it wasn't long after that that people say, hey, like, how about the father of the brides? Like, mm -hmm. how about, you know, we need men's too. So then the Hank was born. The Hank is my men's line. Um, and so when I decided to go kind of all in with handkerchiefs, um, I guess you could say I changed my brand to the handkerchief shop. It just felt like a more comfortable space for all of my handkerchief lines to live. Um, so I have Happy Hanky for women. I have the Hank for men. And then I also um, just launched last year Petkerchiefs, <laughs> which is like pet bandanas that can be personalized because so many... You know, so many folks are including pets in their engagement photos and in their weddings. 
um, that it just kind of, you know, kind of made sense. But um, yeah, I make all my handkerchiefs locally. I source uh, all of my fabric and um, laces from U.S. companies to try to support small businesses um, whenever I can. And um, I just feel blessed, I guess, to be living out my passion and uh, working with a really great group of people around me that helped me bring my product to market too because I definitely couldn't do it without them. That's awesome. That's The, yeah. the pet thing makes a ton of sense. I, I literally only have a dog because my wife thought the dog accessories were cute. Like yeah. She was always, we got married, she's like, I never want a dog. And then she saw like something cute. She's like, maybe we should get a dog. Yeah. So yeah. people like you are why I have a wonderful dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What are some reasons couples come to you to get a handkerchief for their wedding? Um, I think when they're looking for a personalized uh, gift that, again, can be tucked away as an heirloom piece um, and also used on that day. I mean, really, a handkerchief is a practical item um, that the you know bridegroom, bridal party, important people to the bride and groom can carry with them on that day. But it's also something that can be washed if, if needed and tucked away in a treasure box um, for you know, as like a little keepsake for later on. Do couples ever come to you with like a specific idea of when they want, like why they want their handkerchief for like a specific part of the day? Like I expect my dad to cry when he sees me for the first time or so, do you ever hear any stories like that? I do. Um, for those customers that I talk to on the phone, um, I am exclusively an online business, um, but for customers I talk to on the phone, sometimes they'll say like, you know, I know he's going to cry when he sees me for the first time. Or sometimes when they're giving it to um, the groom, when they do like a first look, they they know or they think that their groom is going to cry. Um, so sometimes they will purchase it for, I guess they have an, an instance or a moment in their head that they think that the happy tears might be flowing. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of times I think it's just to have just in case because you never know when that happy tear moment might, might pop up, you know? Right. <laughs> what do you find to be the most rewarding part of your work? Um, Wow, I love what I do. I uh, like I said, I, I love fabric, I love lace, so I love creating, um, you know, the handkerchiefs. Uh, but I also love that in just a small way, I'm a piece of all these happy occasions. Um, and I have to say that sometimes the messages that people want embroidered on their handkerchiefs, they still get me. Like I'll still be wrapped up, so I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Like, <laughs> you know, and the the place that people are coming from. Um, in terms of just love and just sharing that with the other person or, you know, sometimes like a mom or a dad will, you know, embroider a handkerchief for their son or daughter um, is just so sweet. It's just coming from such a place of love that I think that's another reason why that it's just like, this is awesome. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Now Colleen has five more tips on what to think about when getting a custom handkerchief for your wedding. So five tips. Uh, that I would offer if you're thinking about getting a handkerchief for your wedding is one, um, think about the message that you would like to embroider on a handkerchief as being one from the heart. Don't overthink it, it doesn't matter on the length, it just matters that it's from your heart. Um, second would be the person, think about the person that you're giving it to. The person you're giving it to, are they gonna need a joke that morning? Um, you know, I'm just thinking of, of grooms or groomsmen. Um, groomsmen giving it to their groom for uh, the morning of and at that point where nerves are a little high they might want to have an inside joke embroidered on a handkerchief um, but just think of the person that you're going to give it to third I would say think of your color palette we have so many embroidery threads that could match the your color palette um, that that's another great detail that could tie in for the whole day and um, it also makes a lovely little accessory when the photographers are taking um, accessory shots for both the bride and groom so it's a nice thing to include in um, in all the other accessories fourth i would say um, think about any little details that you have um, already incorporated into your wedding day. Uh, we can embroider little, um, like little icons, little designs, monogram crests that were created for your wedding. So think if there's any little details that maybe you would want to include uh, on handkerchiefs to be embroidered. And the fifth tip would be just make sure you have it handy because you never know when a happy tear moment might pop up. Awesome, thank yeah. you for that. And then the last thing I want to do is we're going to put you on the hot seat and let everybody know a little bit more about you. So okay. just. Answer with the first thing that pops into your head. Okay. What is something most people don't know about you? Um, that I love 80s freestyle music. And what, what are some examples of that for those who don't know? Stevie B. Okay. Um, 
Lisa Lisa. What was the first thing you ever embroidered? Um, the first thing I ever embroidered, bride. I had uh, a couple that had gotten just bride and groom on their handkerchiefs. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was the weirdest thing someone has asked you to embroider onto a handkerchief? <laughs> I've had some weird ones. Um, and I don't know if I could say some of the weird ones. So um, you could definitely tell they were inside jokes. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite TV show? The Office. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Favorite movie? Um, right now, it's The Greatest Showman. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Such a good one. Mm -hmm. Favorite book? Uh, Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. Okay. What is your greatest accomplishment? Curious accomplishment? Probably my kids. Okay. How old are your kids? Yeah. Uh, eight and five. Oh, okay. I have three and one, so that's like a little bit in the future for me. I was yeah. like hearing that, knowing my future. Yeah, just... Um, Kind of getting through, getting through days sometimes is hard. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, but I, I love them. They're wonderful. Have you ever been pulled over by a cop? I have. Did you get out of the ticket? Yes. <laughs> How'd you get out of it? Um, I no particular way. I think I just, uh, yeah. Just okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What is your the favorite phrase you've ever embroidered on anything? I had a recent one, um, and just because I love, my husband and I both love The Office, um, they had embroidered, it wasn't so much a phrase, it was, uh, it said like, P Dwight and Angela, uh, Pam and Jim, and then you and me. Oh, uh, that's cute. Yeah, it was like a list of like office um, romances, and then it was you and me down the bottom. Oh, that's I cute. I thought that was cute, yeah. That's cute. And uh, what is the best reaction you've ever gotten from a couple? Um, I think the best thing is when I get an email that just says like, thank you so much. These were beautiful. You know, they loved them like that. That is like for me, like, it's a great day when I get an email like that. So yeah. Awesome. Well, Colleen, thank you so much for being Thanks with us. Thanks for having us. me. I appreciate and, it. And thank you for watching. Say yes to the best today. Again, Colleen from the handkerchief shop. All of her information is down below in the information. So please follow her. And if you need a custom handkerchief for your wedding, you know, she's, she's the one. So uh, thank you again and happy planning.